All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the desert here in Icarus. Very cool. Or actually, maybe very hot. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go explore down south and see if we can actually get into the desert biome for a little bit. Uh, so let's see. Before we do that, um, I think we want to make the thermos. Wait, wait, did we learn the thermos? Supposedly, it's supposed to cool you off. Yeah, it's made in the machining bench, and it's right here. So we need some epoxy, steel, and glass. So let's get some steel out of here. As you can see, I made a bunch of steel. Well, not a bunch, but some. We'll put that in there and stick the ingot in here. Um, Epoxy, we should have some in here. I don't remember how much it said we needed. Uh, oh, shoot, we need two more. Okay, um, we could make the other type of epoxy. We just need some sulfur. Let's grab a stack of that. And I got some things um, <clears throat> to update you guys on, too. What happened off camera? All right, is that enough? Uh, oh, and four pieces of glass. Uh, one of them being... I made the carpentry bench so that I could make refined wood because I needed that for my new kitchen stuff, which I'm going to show you. Um, and then I made the glass working bench. And in here, uh, I made a bunch of jars for cooking purposes because we're going to be able to make jam and some other stuff here uh, in a little bit. Uh, so let's take, we needed four of these. Um, and I think that's all we need for the thermos. All right, so let's craft that up. All right, now, um, rate of cooling per minute, heat resistance, cold resistance. Okay, so how do we cook stuff in the thermos? Um, oh, do we just... I think we need to learn stuff from here for that, I think. Hundred percent oxygen when consumed. Huh. Um Maybe maybe that's tier three stuff. Yeah, because we learned the thermos in tier three. Well, okay. Hmm, not sure. Not sure, but I learned um, the kitchen bench, the biofuel stove, the kitchen storage, the bread dough, which is not flat bread dough, but bread dough, bread dough. Uh, so we got that learned. We learned the glass drawer, of course, as you can see there, the glass working bench. And um, I went ahead and took the titanium sickle so we can get maximum harvesting when we're going out and getting wheat and stuff like that. And I think, I think that's all... I've learned new since uh, the last time we were uh, in the last video. Uh, so I guess we're supposed to be able to make coffee and cocoa and stuff like that, but I don't know how to do that, actually. Do we do it in here? Nope. Okay. Well, we'll have to figure that out. I'm assuming I can, at the very least, fill this up with water, though. Um, so let's throw that in there. Okay, so we'll fill that with water. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to wait for that. Let's just do this. We get parasite, we get a parasite. Not a big deal. Okay, so that fills up the thermos for us. Okay, we got that done. Um, now, yeah, let's take a look and see what's going on here. So I moved the herbalism bench and the cooking station over to here. Uh, we still need the cooking station to make animal fat. And then I made the kitchen bench, which allows us to make bread dough, pastry and pickled carrots, which gives 150 stamina and 20% projectile damage. That's like a huge buff. So, yeah, um, <laughs> we're going to take that with us, too. But we're probably not going to eat it 
immediately. Uh, we'll probably wait until we're ready to actually actively hunt something. Uh, the biofuel stove allows us to make bread, uh, cooked prime meat, fruit pie, um, which gives 10% experience and less oxygen and water consumption, which probably would be a good thing for us to take into the desert. And we could make that, so we probably should. Meat pie, but we need mushrooms for that. Um, and I, don't, I haven't come across those yet. A vegetable pie which gives 150 health and stamina. That is really, really good. And 15% melee damage, 10% experience. Uh, pumpkin bread, um, which gives exposure and 15% experience. I think that gives the food that gives the most experience. And then this fish fillet, which gives uh, 150 health, 75 stamina, and 10% uh, and 10% uh, experience gain and 15 stamina regeneration, which I I made. So I went out and caught a bunch of fish out of the lake and then made some, made myself fish and chips, baby. Um, so if we're going to get manage to get into the desert, the uh, fruit pie is going to actually, I think, be really helpful there. Um, so let's see. We need pastry, wild berries, and watermelons. I've got pastry in here because it doesn't spoil um, we're going to bring our pickled carrots too, but like, and we won't eat those until we actually engage something. Um, oh, you know what? Hold on a second. Oh, this is how we make stuff. Okay. Ah, okay. So if we make hot tea, we do get cold resistance. So I think those stats on the thermos assume you're drinking something cold. Twenty-five health regen, less twenty-five food consumption, and twenty-five cold resistance. That would be really good in the snow biome. Um, less water consumption, and this one is cold. Maximum stamina and stamina regen. Looks like hot cocoa is probably the best one. Oh yeah, twenty-five percent cold resistance. Wow. Okay, we're going to make some more thermoses and some hot cocoa next time we go to the, the cold biome. Because, you know, you, you consume more food when you're cold, too. And so this re this counters that by 25% less food uh, consumption. Okay, so that's where we do that. Okay, good good to know. Good to know. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make some of this uh, berry pie. So let's see. We're going to need uh, watermelons and berries. Okay. Uh, so we're going to make 10 of those. And this is a biofuel stove, so it just uses fuels, basically a gas stove, which is really cool. And um, we'll make those berry pies, and we'll take those with us. And let's put this stuff back in the fridge. Uh, we're going to take a stack of fish. Well, here, let's see. 125 maximum stamina, 150 maximum health. I've got... Uh, three cooked prime, but that's not going to last us for very long. I need to go do some more polar bear hunting. So I think we're going to take a stack of uh, crumbled fish. Uh, we don't need this epoxy. Let's get put that away. All right, so we're going to take a stack of crumbled fish. Fish fillet. Uh, the bread gives us big time stamina. And, I th and then I think we'll take the fruit pies, which gives a little health and quite a bit of stamina, too. Uh, unless we wanted to take the pumpkin bread. Where in the hell is that at again? In here. We only have four of them. But that gives 15 experience. Yeah, because hmm, we only have four, I, I don't think we'll, we'll do that. So we're, we'll take this combination. This will be our normal combination, but then we're, we're going to... Take some of those two and right before we shoot something big and mean and nasty. Uh, and then we got the thermos uh, to help keep us cool if we do end up finding the desert. Okay, I think we're in good shape for food. Do I have any more bread? Yeah, I do. Let's make. Let's take. Oh, okay. Well, here. Let's do this. Okay. And I think we're good to go. All right. So the other thing I was going to show you is I built another generator. As you can see here, um, this generator is running the forge and the, uh, the the material processor, and this one's running everything else. So the fridge, the biofuel composter thing right here, and all of the lights. 
Um, so that's why I have two. And, and I couldn't figure out a way to connect them both to a single grid. Maybe there is a way to do it, but it was, didn't seem to work for me. So uh, they're all we're basically running off of two different grids. I've been doing a lot of um, farming of you know wood and tree branches and stuff for this. We need to run up to the other cave and check our drill again, but we're not going to do that in this episode. Also made the flashlight. Honestly, not super impressed with it. The lantern is better. Um, the only advantage this really has is it doesn't, you know, it's got perpetual power. We don't have to refuel it, but it's a spotlight, so it doesn't light up a whole area, and if I drop it, it turns off. Um, so it's not super duper useful to be quite honest with you. I do like the lantern better. Um, so yeah, and, and even to the point where I don't even think we're going to take that with us. I think we're going to just put it in our equipment crate and not use it again. <laughs> it's too bad, but we just, just don't like it that much. All right, I don't think we need to take anything from here with us. We're not, I'm not planning on going into the, the cold biome, so let's check our fuel levels in these guys. Um, actually, you know, there's not really any reason for this to stay running while we're out but this one has to because this is the one that has the that's powering the refrigerator what we are going to do though is we're going to grab these two full cans and we're going to swap out uh, with these there we go okay and then we'll put these guys in here and they'll fill up while we're out and about all right, I think we're ready to go. Our equipment could stand a little bit of repairing. Uh, so let's repair the knife, the compound bow, the rifle, uh, which needs steel. I mean, it's not in that bad of shape, but let's just make sure everything is in good repair before we go on a little expedition here. Uh, the pick, the axe. Uh, we don't need to take the sickle with us. Uh, one thing we are going to see if we can find in the desert, though, is is squash. Uh, because we also have this um, vegetable pie. Um, which is, I mean, 150 health and 150 stamina. That is damn good. Uh, so we're going to be looking for that, that squash. And then if we can find some, we'll bring it back and see if we can plant it in the garden. Right now I have carrots and pumpkins growing in the garden uh, because of the pickled carrots and the pumpkin bread that we can now make. All right, anyways, um, I think we're good to go. So we got the light in there. Here, we'll put the binox in here. And we don't need to take the steel with us, so let's put that back in there. Let's take a quick look at the garden. How am I doing on ammo? Yeah, we're doing pretty good on ammo. Let's take a quick look at the garden before we take off. Oh, and I should switch out my O2. Oh, we got carrots. Okay. So, I don't know if I if I showed this to you guys, and some of you, uh, maybe most of you actually already know this, but there is a, I'm assuming it's a bug, and I'm going to demonstrate this with two carrots. All right. If I... If I click this stack into here before I take what's in there out, I lose all of them. And I've done that several times, and it's just frustrating as I'll get out. To demonstrate that, we're just going to risk two carrots. So if I click that in there with control click, boom, it's gone. Like forever gone. Um, so what I've been doing is, you know, trying to get into the habit <coughs> of... Emptying them completely out first before I replant so I don't accidentally uh, do that. So if you guys didn't happen to know that, uh, you have now been warned. Uh, that's got to be a bug. And I wish what would happen is when you click into these crop plots, it would just put one in. Because there isn't a, there isn't a, a key click combination that will, will separate just one item from a stack. Now you can use alt, but you have to click and drag. It's not a, a, a direct click. So anyway, uh, yeah, just word to the wise on that. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do is we are going to head south. And the plan is, well, let's wait for the daggone map to, 
to expose itself. Um, no, we need to eat too. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to head south. As you can see, I've been all in this area here. There's one, there's another mine down here we haven't even tapped into. This is the southern glacier. We were able to get about this far before it said you can't go any further. Um, I have uh, tried to go up here, but it won't let you go any further than that spot there. And I think this is part of the southern glacier that just wraps around that way, but we wouldn't be able to, to get into it anyway. So all that to say, I believe there's desert over here, and I'm hoping that the game will let us go part way into it, um, you know, before it tells us uh, to bugger off. So uh, we'll see. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And if it does, then it does. And then we're going to be looking for squash and maybe mushrooms, if that's where we get that stuff. I'm not sure uh, once we get to the desert. Okay, let's do this. Okay, guys, I am back, and we are basically in territory, brand new territory. I have never been this far uh, to the south or west. And let's see what uh, happens here. So chances are there's probably, <clears throat> excuse me, some more caves along there, but that's something I can look for later. Uh, right now, I just want to see if we can actually get to the desert biome. So we'll keep on trucking here. Um, I've got a... An enormously large stamina bar. It's really cool. Look how big that stamina bar is. That's great. I never really put any points into speed, but I can definitely see why that would be useful because you sure do run around a lot <laughs> in this game. Oh my goodness. And there's no, you know, there's no, any, isn't any kind of transportation. I don't know if that'll ever be added to the game, but it'd be cool if we could get, you know, like tame something to ride it. Like, I don't know, a polar bear maybe? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, uh, there is a lot of running around in the game. So speed buffs uh, are super valuable and something we will definitely give consideration to um, the next time I roll a new character. Not necessarily going to take it, but we'll give consideration to it for sure. Wow, this force goes a lot further than I, I thought it did. We are really continuing on here for a while, aren't we? Okay. <clears throat> well, that certainly must mean that there's more caves to be had, case in point. Cave in point. I <laughs> see what I did there. Uh, I don't think we really need to go in there for any reason. Yeah, man. I did, uh, again, I didn't realize the force kept going even from here. I thought I thought this was kind of the end of it here. But let's keep on trekking here. We might have to make ourselves a, a bed roll and spend the night in a, in a cave or a boulder or something. There's a beefalo. That's a bear. We should be able to take out a bear with our bow relatively easy. There, uh, is that him? Yeah. We need to get a good clear shot here. He did. All right. Let's recover our arrow. Well, we should get it just from skinning the guy. And I'm not going to take it. Well, actually, if we end up needing to make a bedroll, we are going to want this. Uh, we don't need really need the meat, though. What do we need to make a bedroll? Um, just some sticks and fiber. Okay, yeah, so we got the leather and the fur. Um, and we might need to make a campfire, too. Oh, shit, this still keeps on going. Wow, look at this lake. I've never seen this lake before. This is kind of neat. You could build like a little base out on that island and have a bridge going out to it. Very cool. Very cool. I love exploration, man. It's discovering new places. It's really neat. Is that an island too or is that just a peninsula? Let's go take a look-see.
Uh, looks like it's just kind of like a little peninsula going out into the water. Let's go look at this um this island for a second. This is really neat. What a what a cool place to build a base. Is there a way to get up to it or do you have to maybe you have to build the bridge first? Well no, it looks like we can probably get up right here. Maybe. Oh, it's got wheat on it too. Wheat Island. It's not very big, but I mean, <clears throat> you could build a, you know, a base with, you know, two, three floors if you had to. It doesn't have to be really wide and sprawling. That would be fun, man. And then have a, just a bridge going across there. I love it. We'll keep that in mind for future reference, maybe. Definitely. Okay. Um, let's see where we are. Okay, yeah, let's just um, let's keep on trucking here a little bit longer. Or maybe what we should do is find a ginormous boulder and just spend the night. Or a cave would work too, of course. Uh, that might be a cave across the way there. Right there. It's hard to say. I, actually, it probably isn't. Because I think... Most caves that you see from a distance, you can actually see the opening, even if they're covered with with the stone. Sounds like there might be a waterfall down here. That's because there is! Not a very big one, but still. Pretty cool, man. Okay, let's go down through here. Yeah, this is like really dropping down, isn't it? That's a little bit bigger waterfall. What a neat area, you guys. I love this. Alright, let's go over here. There's a bear around somewhere, but I'm not too worried about him. He wants to mix it up with us, so it won't go well for him. Alright, let's go down through here. Just kind of wondering, you know, if, if we can run into a, a cave. Yeah, there's the... There's the really tall waterfall back off in the distance. Look at that view. Oh, man, that's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, let's just keep running through here. Um, we might be able to get a bedroll in this thing. It's definitely tall enough. Uh, I don't know if it's wide enough, though. All right, well, keep that in mind. Let's just we'll keep looking a little bit further. Cave would be way easier. Um, but I want to kind of stop and sleep because we can't really see anything yet now. All right. Well, here. Let me um, set this down there and see if we can actually uh, get a bedroll in here. Okay, we're going to need some sticks and fiber and all of that. So let's go find some. Oh, frick. Stupid weather. Okay. Looks like the lightning is a little ways off. We should be able to get inside the stone before it gets too bad. Okay, let's go to crafting. Uh, we need to make this. And we need to make this. Uh, except for... We need more sticks. Alright, why don't we just cut this tree down. Uh, 
the nice thing about the storm is it's making it at least it's brightening things up for us okay uh now i'll make that okay so let's see if we can fit this in here okay yep it it will let us do that um the problem though is the rain's probably gonna put our fire out uh well here let's see if we can get it down and light it up just quick enough for the game to let us sleep all right so we're gonna stand right here all right there we go cool so it's morning uh, but we're going to have to wait out the storm, so um, I'll bring you guys back when the storm's over. All right, guys, the worst of the storm is over, uh, so let's pick up our bedroll here. And we might actually pick this up and take it with us, too. Uh, whoops. Oh, why isn't it letting me pick it up? There we go. I think it was. I just couldn't see the the thing there. And I'm assuming wood's going to be easy enough to get in the desert, I guess. I don't know. Can I use a lantern in the rain? Not that I need to, I guess. Uh, all right, let's see. I think we want to... Yeah, there's like a real narrow passage here. There's also... Looks like it goes down here a little ways. Oh, shit. Still lightning? Yeah, sometimes it'll still strike. Uh, so let's go along here. Oh my goodness, <laughs> a freaking cave right here the whole time. Oh well, had no way of knowing that in the dark, right? That's funny though. Um. Okay, so yeah, let's go along here, and we need to go through this way. I really hope it doesn't stop me and say you need to turn back or you're gonna get killed, kind of thing. Oh shit, how do we get? How do we get up here? We might have to build a bridge or something. Oh, no. Looks like we can go around this way and then come up through here. Okay. Gotcha. For a minute there, it looked like that was like a big wall blocking the whole thing. The whole kit and caboodle. We need to refresh our food, too. We'll do that once we stop here. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we want to go back this way, right? Yeah. Just kind of follow the ridge along here. What's that? Oh, that's a, that's a warthog, or boar, or whatever. For, for a minute there, it looked unrecognizable. You know, I have yet to come across any jaguars <clears throat> in the forest. The only time we ever saw them was when we did that quest. All right, let's take this. Actually, we don't need any of the rest of that. Get the shotgun ready. There's a bear over here somewhere. There he is right there. Okay. Made short work of him. And we don't need any of that. Don't stump on the ground. Um, all right. I'm going the wrong way. We need to go through here. Wait, right? Yeah, and there's another cave, too. Stop moving.
No, we want to go this way. That doesn't seem... Oh, we're aiming for this gap over here. Okay. It's getting a little turned around. Yeah, this area is really neat down here. Um, I'm going to want to... Oh, I guess that did open up this area here. Okay, so that doesn't go very far, but there's definitely a lot more caves for us to utilize. They're just so far away <laughs> is the thing. Okay, I see desert ahead. Those brown rocks. I hope the game will let us go there. Just a little ways in at least. It, it should. I mean, it lets us go into the polar biome for a little ways. So you'd think it would let us go into the desert for a little ways. We'll see, though. Oh, look at that. Palm trees. Got a couple of wolves over there. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the desert here in Icarus. Very cool. Or actually, maybe very hot. Antelope? That doesn't look like an antelope. That looks like, um, oh, I can't remember what the hell those things are called. My, my daughter would know. She's a zookeeper. Excellent. Okay, so we can... We can come into the desert a ways. This is cool, man. Look at this. There's a cave over there. Are desert caves the same as normal caves? They they look a little different. I'm sure there's... I was going to say there's probably worms in here. I mean, same kind of basic idea, but... Just with the brown, the brown rocks instead of the other. All right, well, screw those guys. Very cool. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's see. So, I would very much like to find some squash. Oh, actually, I thought I heard somewhere that you could find mushrooms in the desert caves. Let's go back in here and look around for. Didn't I just kill you? What the hell, man? Let's see if we can actually find... The I don't know if that's true or not. I'm, in fact, I don't even remember where I heard that from, but... Um, wasn't there a dude over here? Could have sworn we came over here and a worm popped out somewhere up in there. All right, well, I'm not seeing anything that looks like mushrooms in here. That doesn't mean they're not in here or maybe they're a random kind of thing. Um, can I hit him with a shotgun from here? I don't want to use my arrow because then I might lose it. Pretty good range on that shotgun. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, oh. What's that? Oh, no, that's just sand. It kind of looked like it might be a mushroom or something. Okay, well, let's just keep going then. I I may be completely mistaken about that anyway. Okay, so squash. We got to find squash. It's going to be tricky, though, for us to pick squash and get it all the way back to our base without it spoiling. Hmm. Well, I guess if we find enough of it, that could work. We don't seem to be having any temperature issues at the moment. Look at all the, the heat waves, though. I'm, I doubt the game's going to let us go too much further than this. It's probably going to tell us, turn around. You're cheating. 
Maybe you have to find, like, um, an oasis to find the squash. I'm just looking kind of in these patches of vegetation to see if there's anything. Not really seeing anything. It looks toasty down here, but my temperature is not doing anything weird. Maybe it's just my canteen. Let's try something here. Let's go into here. Oh, shoot. I should have. Let's take this out and put this in. That's supposed to give us... What does this give? That's... Plus 10 rate of cooling per minute, plus 10 heat resistance. Plus 10 rate of plus 10 heat resistance, minus 4 cold. Oh. 50 water consumed for 15 seconds. That doesn't seem any better than this. Maybe we have to put something other than water in it. Okay. I guess I should have probably paid a little more attention to that. <laughs> oh, well. Well, I'm not seeing anything that looks like squash out here. Let's just run as far this way as the game will let us before it tells us to turn around. The one thing I've noticed about the desert biome and the arctic biome is they're both a lot more barren than the uh, you know, than the forest is, of course. Frame rate's better out here. Those guys are not antelopes. <laughs> they're, uh, oh, I don't know what the hell they're called. So I wonder what the predators are out in the desert. I know there's supposed to be this ginormous sandworm. It's supposed to be pretty badass. But is that like a a boss or a mini boss kind of creature, or, or are they creatures we can just run into randomly and get our face eaten? It sure looks like a place that that would happen. Big old sandworm. We don't seem to be consuming water at an alarming rate, so that's good. Um, this, what does this do for us? Yeah, minus 15 water consumption. So that's helping somewhat. Minus 15%, I should say. We could tame zebras. <laughs> oh, okay, that's as far as we can go. Well, it sure let us... Uh, Come a, a long ways over here, but unfortunately there's nothing here other than a cave or two. And it doesn't seem to be anywhere as near as harsh as the polar biome. Is this a cave that we can open? No. Huh. All right, well, at least I can cross that off the bucket list for this prospect. We've had a chance to explore... All three biomes now. Um, from what I've seen so far, the forest biome is by far the most interesting, just because it has all the features in it. And I really liked that area we passed through to get here. But, you know, maybe there's a lot more to the desert, and, and I'm sure there is, actually, a lot more to the desert and the polar biome that we just haven't been able to see because we can't go very far into them, so... But it was kind of cool that we got to come this far. All right, you guys. So here is the deal. I think we are done with this prospect. Um, I've pretty much done everything I wanted to do. We've spent 10 days-ish. Um, Because we still have 20 days left. Almost 21 days left. To get to what level are we? 44. And... Uh, I just have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed 
uh, this game so far. And so what we're going to do, I think, is end this prospect. And in the next episode, we are going to start doing missions and experience that side of this game. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope you guys are too. Uh, I'm going to work my way back to the base. And um, we'll probably start the next episode with me taking off in the pod and then choosing our next mission. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.